I'm standing on my front porch at my front door, pointing the camera towards the apple tree that my itinerant bear got into two nights ago. I'm walking towards it. I pulled all the fruit off it yesterday after I discovered he was in it. Oh, can you see the claw marks? These are from his hind feet on the trunk as he got up. Here's a good gash on this branch. I mean, my hand is about eight inches wide, so that's a pretty good pad claw scratch as he climbed up. I don't know if the backlight shows. Yeah, you can see one of his hairs right there. So there's hairs in the branches here, and he sat down right here and ate the apples off the branches. And there's some broken branches here from his uh, midnight snack. So I took the rest of the apples off, put them in a wheelbarrow, carted them around the corner over here. These are not apple trees. These are plums and cherry and Asian pears. Uh, I did construction this summer. I still haven't picked up and put things away. I'm, it's a work in progress. Anyways, oh, the dog is heading. He's going to go stick his nose in the bear scat that's down here. He's, he's sniffing where the bear was last night. I dumped the apples here, and this was a big pile of apples. <clears throat> and this is where, these are, as you can see, his is right in his footprints right now. And down here is a nice pile that he left us. Leave it. Nice pile of uh, bear scat. So anyways, uh, he's probably down in these woods right here right now. Or he's over here. It really rained hard last night and I can't see any track uh, through the grass. I'll look again. But I called the authorities on this one two nights. I don't like it. Hey, they're probably going to tell me to dig this out and move it. Because that's like baiting them in. Other than that, that's the excitement in uh, my property.